Hello Capricorn, Sun, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa, so keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Capricorn? Okay, that was quick. Ooh. Okay, so we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. And then we also have uh, religious factors, and then we have codependency. For some of you, you could be married to this person. You might share finances with this person. doesn't necessarily have to be the case. I just kind of feel like someone refuses to possibly give up uh, on a connection here. Now, that could be you. That could be them. That could very well be the both of you, okay? Uh, for the most part, religious factors for me as a reader, I mean, represents the Hierophant and Tarot. So you could be connecting with a Taurus specifically. This just basically indicates a very strong spiritual connection. A very, it's, it's one of those connections that's hard to break, especially with this combo out here. And then you add reconciliation onto that. This is a very, very difficult connection to essentially, uh, break here. Okay. Um, let's just dive right into it. We're going to focus on you first and we'll jump over to them. Still keep in mind that you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. You could be dealing with another Capricorn possibly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen this combo, but let's go with it. How does Capricorn currently view this relationship? Okay. I like this. So we have the Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Then you got the Two of Wands, uh, Aries energy. And then we also have the Three of Wands. More Aries energy. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. It kind of looks like, for the most part, um, Capricorn, you are taking steps towards something that's 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 essentially stable, something that brings, you know, happiness and joy and abundance into your life. Now, of course, that could have everything to do with a person, um, or this just has everything to do with you and you taking steps towards what feels right to you um, and what it is that you want to essentially make your main focus slash priority right now. And like I said, it could be attached to a person here. Um, I want to kind of look into the Nine of Cups just to kind of see what that's all about. Um, because there's something that you are taking steps towards and it's something that's very emotionally fulfilling to you, something that feels right to you. And like I said, it could be attached to another person. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Got to more about the Nine of Cups. That's my fire alarm. Just, you know, go with it. I know it's annoying. It's so annoying. We got the Eight of Cups and then we also have Justice. All right, so that's kind of why I was kind of possibly saying what I was saying here, where, yes, it looks like you're taking steps towards something that is emotionally fulfilling, I'm sorry, to you, something that brings a lot of stability and abundance into your life. Um, and for the most part, that could be family, that could be your friends, that could be, um, you know, your business, whatever the case may be, right? I don't necessarily feel like it is attached to another person. This is more so like a solo journey that you're essentially on. Um, and for the most part, I think that you're perfectly fine with being on this journey by yourself um, because of where it's actually taking you. It's taking you to really good places, right? Um, and it kind of looks like for the most part, you may have decided Capricorn to remove yourself from a relationship in order to do that, to head towards, um, a path that's more emotionally fulfilling to you. Um, so it does kind of look like you're making this decision to possibly remove yourself from someone, um, and leave someone behind in order to go after, what's going to truly make you happy. All right. Um, again, it is looking kind of like a solo journey. I don't see you leaving, you know, such and such behind to go be with such and such. You know, I don't see that. Uh, it is looking like a solo journey. And I feel like for the most part, you're, you're very content with yourself. Um, 
and, and where you're heading and where you're going uh, to the point where it's like you don't really need uh, anyone to essentially tag along with you. I kind of like your vibe. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, let's look at your person, though. How does this person currently view this relationship? Capricorn. Okay. Okay. You got the star card. Uh, Aquarian energy. Then we also have judgment. Scorpio energy. And then we have the eight of cups again. So Pisces energy. Okay. It kind of looks like this person's having a little bit of an epiphany. It kind of looks like the two of you essentially parted ways from one another. I do see that happening where you kind of walked away from this person and this person kind of walked away from you too. Um, and initially at the time, you know, you felt like that was the right decision to do. And I kind of feel like this person just kind of went along with it for the most part. But it kind of looks like your person's having this epiphany. Um, now that the two of you are at a distance from one another, now that the two of you are not on speaking terms, things of that nature, where this person is starting to essentially kind of realize that, you know, their happiness and everything that they essentially want lies with you. Um, and, and with that being said, uh, it kind of looks like your person is essentially going to be the one that's going to... Um, kind of resurface here, okay, because of this epiphany uh, that they're having. And sometimes that happens where we don't necessarily know what we have until we lose it. Um, even though it kind of looks like for the most part, possibly the vast majority of you were the ones to essentially um, put an ending to the situation um, between you and this person, uh, I don't feel like it's over, okay? I don't feel like it's over. At least not for them. But we'll see if that's the case for you too. We'll see. Uh, how does Capricorn feel about this relationship? Okay. I like this, Capricorn. Look at you doing your thing. We got the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Aqua, Taurus, also Scorpio. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. And then there goes the King of Swords, Aquarian energy. Very, very nice. I feel like you're you're really focused on growth and expansion. Things are definitely changing here for you, um, Capricorn. And it is bringing a lot of growth and expansion into your life here. For some of you, I mean, I'm not surprised either because uh, we're dealing with Capricorns here. But you're probably really focused on, you know, your finances and your career um, and, and just growing and evolving as a person. Um, and again, no surprise because Capricorns are known for, for being workaholics. Um, but with that being said, it kind of looks like there's a lot of growth and a lot of positive changes happening uh, within your own life. I don't necessarily feel like what I'm seeing here on the table has anything to do with this person. This has everything to do with you um, and what it is that you're choosing to essentially focus on. Um, and like I said, for the most part, I feel like it's bringing in a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. Um, and, and that's what you're, you're choosing to kind of focus all of your time and energy into. Um, and I feel like it's paying off for the most part. So I am happy for you. Very happy for you. Let's look at this person. How does this person feel about this relationship? Okay. With Capricorn. Okay. A lot of reminiscing happening here on this person's uh, behalf here. We have the Three of Cups. We also have the Four of Cups, and then we got the Page of Swords in the middle. So your, your person's kind of thinking about you a lot. I feel like this person really does miss you. They miss spending time with you uh, and being around you. And it kind of looks like for the most part, Capricorn, I kind of feel like this person just flat out misses you and the, and the times that the two of you shared with one another. Like I said, your person is having a little bit of an epiphany here where they're kind of starting to essentially realize through this ending and through this separation that their happiness really does essentially lie with you. Um, so yeah. All right. Let's see what you plan on doing in the end. What actions will Capricorn take towards this person moving forward? You got the Five of Swords, Aquarian Energy with the Knight of Cups, 
Pisces energy, and then we also have the King of Wands, Leo energy. Let's see what this person's going to do. What actions will this person take towards Capricorn? I'm moving forward. Oh, wait, don't fall. No. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me grab the card that fell. Okay. So we have the Four of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy. And we also have the Fool, and then we have the Eight of Wands. I'm not shocked. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Three of Wands along with the Six of Cups. So let's focus on this person first because I feel like this person's actually triggering, triggering this reaction um, out of view. So let's talk about it. It kind of looks like for the most part, your person is going to continue to sit in this energy of um, feeling really discontent. Uh, with this situation here and it's going to come a point in time where this person um, is going to essentially hold back um, in other words I don't necessarily see this person bothering you contacting you chasing you none of that I don't see this person doing that um, and I kind of feel like for the most part this person's going to continue to sit into the in this energy that they currently find themselves in until they can't do it anymore Okay, until it becomes unbearable for them, and they're gonna kind of just hop into this full like energy, especially with the eight of wands, where they're just gonna be like, screw it. I'm just gonna say whatever it is that I need to say. I'm just gonna get whatever it is that I need to kind of get off of my chest. I don't want to sit with this. I don't want to continue to dwell on this anymore. You know, the thing is, is that you can't help how you feel, right? About a person or about a situation. Even though the two of you have essentially parted ways from one another, that doesn't necessarily mean that this person has ever stopped loving you, caring about you, thinking about you, none of that stuff, right? And I feel like your person's going to reach this point where it's going to become so unbearable for them where they're just like, yo, why am I holding back? Like, why, why? Why? Like, what's the point? You know, I might as well just say whatever it is that I need to say, you know, because this person cannot help how they feel, especially when it comes down to you, Capricorn. This person still has a lot of love for you. They still tend to reminisce about you quite a bit in the times of the two of you spent with one another. Um, they still feel a very strong soul tie connection to you. Um, remember what I was saying, that this is a connection that's very, very difficult to break. And although you've managed, you've managed to essentially break away from this by focusing on, because I kind of feel like what you did, to honestly, was redirect your attention onto something else. And that's all you really did. Um, and this is why, this is why I say that. Because of the simple fact that you're showing up as a Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and uh, the King of Wands here. That Five of Swords, to me, screams frustration. It screams inner conflict. I kind of feel like this is you kind of telling yourself, yo, I thought I was over this person, or I thought I moved past this. What happened? Because as this person is approaching you and opening up lines of communication, and it kind of looks like this person has a whole lot to say, by the way, here you are gravitating towards them all over again, offering them love, compassion, um, all of those things. And you're kind of looking at yourself like, what the hell? I thought that I was over you. I thought that I was done, you know? And, and, and that happens, right? That happens. But I feel like the only thing that you honestly did was redirect your attention onto something else, something that emotionally fulfills you, whether that's work, uh, family, friends, whatever, right? Uh, that's all you really did. And that kind of numbed... Um, you know, the, the possibly the pain that came with detaching yourself from this person. Uh, that's all that you, you really did uh, was just look the other way and redirect your attention onto something else. Um, and I am kind of getting a little bit of frustration from you. You know, I kind of feel like you thought that you were done with this person. You thought that your emotions uh, for this person uh, disappeared, um, but they're still very much so there and, and that's okay. Um, but I kind of feel like the both of you still have love for each other. I don't necessarily feel like neither party has stopped essentially loving one another. The only difference is you didn't sit there and dwell on this person. You didn't sit there and think about this person and the memories and things like that. And if you did, I kind of feel like you snapped out of it rather quickly um, and continuously you know, decided to kind of focus your attention onto other things to kind of um, not think about this person or not dwell uh, on this relationship that you once upon a time had with this person. All right, let's get the advice. 
Any advice for Capricorn in regards to this spread? Yeah. We got true love and engagement. Yeah, I kind of feel like you thought that you were over this person, but I don't think that you are, dude. And I kind of feel like you're going to realize that once this person extends themselves to you. And like I said, I feel like they have a lot to say. Um, so get ready for that. But again, I kind of feel like there's still a lot of love here between you and this person. There's potential for the two of you to essentially get back together and work on this relationship. It kind of looks like this is a very difficult connection. Uh for you to break, but also for them to break. And I feel like there's a reason for that. Um, and, and maybe it's because the two of you were just, you know, supposed to be with one another, right? Possibly. Um, it's kind of leaning more towards the two of you were just supposed to essentially be together, you know, and, and the, in the very end of all of this. So with that being said, it kind of looks like the two of you um, are going to start talking all over again. Now, I don't necessarily know if the two of you are going to jump back into a relationship. I'm not sure if that's going to ever happen. Um, that really all depends mainly on you, Capricorn, whether or not you decide to go down that route with this person. Because I see this person more prone to jumping back into a relationship with you and giving this relationship another chance than you are. Um just because of how you're approaching the situation like oh man i thought i was over this person and look at me now gravitating towards them all over again you know kind of you know being a little bit hard on yourself just a little bit um but outside of that it's looking really really good uh so hopefully this reading resonates with you hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with and i will see you guys in your next reading bye